gut matters more. Are you kidding? Oh, I get that it's a leap of faith, but you see it all the time. That's how people beat the odds. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? Keeper, we were hoping to talk to you about unity. <laughs> You want to subject your friend here to one of our talks, Matteo? The future of humanity is always a long discussion. No, that's not exactly what I meant. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something... secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? Seriously, Keeper, they bathe whoever reaches the center in a light, and then, well, the normal laws of the universe go completely haywire. So you're saying you found a, a place of contemplation? And you received a gift? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but Maybe it's more. I'm not sure if he was, but if what you're looking for is connected, then anything might be possible. In my story, of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his or contribution to the infinite. 
What if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? A way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least... I agree. I think you need to talk to them about this unity pilgrim. And clearly, not just in a theological sense, as I have. Because I wasn't looking to find unity in the same sense you are. A fresh set of eyes might reveal the truth. Oh yes, typically. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I've visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. And if you need directions to the enlightened, they have a branch in the well helping the poorest citizens of New Atlantis find a better life for themselves. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less.
Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him. The Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever remains. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is not as important as showing there is no doubt. I grow tired of speaking. Leave me. It's a little funny going down. Evening, sir. Well, you know what I used say. to be an actuary. Now look at me. As a truck ranger, my duty is to inform and advise. Welcome to the House of Enlightenment. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Did Keeper Aquilas send you? Oh boy. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. 
He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Besides what the Keeper would say about it? Sounds like a gathering point, or a center. Or in mathematics it would mean one, like the one, the first or the beginning. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. I'm so behind on my work. When's the report to you anyway? You're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Yes, what he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Was there anything else? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or ad. Certainly how I feel.
Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the there but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that the pilgrim searched for? Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth.
good day, Captain. Need something? So, what's new with you today? stable. to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Yes, Captain.
Making retros. Orbit achieved. Stabilizing. Done. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? I'm a scientist. I could use some help with my research. Hello there. And thank you for responding to my hail. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had company. I'm Dr. Sola Banglawala from MAST in New Atlantis. I'm performing a geological survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. I understand. Well, thanks for stopping anyway. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Fly safe! Sorry, this is taking longer than usual.
stay in orbit or jump. Your call. perhaps, and their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise.
We are not a monolithic people. The starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You, me, the Emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. I will admit, I did not think you would get this far. But then most of the settled systems can be quite confusing to me, still. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge. To protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye. While we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts. And they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It is how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples, the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples, 
You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. You mean yet? Go through the unity a thousand times and you'll gain a better perspective. I have hopes for you. Higher hopes than the other members of Constellation. They all end up like the Emissary. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I have seen. The path to the Unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. You are already in it. With artifacts come Starborn, searching for them, fighting over them. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's. Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever is in their way. When all of the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. It is not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that is why it offers the choice. Compassion or... Or is it testing us? Emissary and their the unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force, all the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the Unity itself 
doesn't judge. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there that you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. Say no more. That is all I ask. I hope you see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Stable. Thrusters are a go. Ready.
Command at New Atlantis. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there. Ready to tackle whatever the Starfield throws at us. Need to check on the girl, child. Ever since I got here, as much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Okay, let's take a look. It's silly, but I can't stop thinking about the idea that there are more of me out there. 
Even just one more Noel is crazy to consider, but dozens, hundreds, an infinite number of them? How different might they, might we all be? Am I not even remotely the unique individual I thought I was? My head is spinning just considering it. No, thank you. Stay safe, okay? Oh, sore. One too many. Gave up my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her own. Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. Keep coming back to one thing. Both of these Starborn, they're people you know. Only they're not the people you know. Say and do things the folks you know would never. Doesn't bode well for anyone stepping into the unity. Or through it, or however it works. You consider what it might do to you? Experience shapes the person as much as the other way. And the unity sounds like an experience with an endless depth with no hope to fathom. I doubt any declaration of intent will carry fate's hand there. Draw the words another time then. Let me know when you're ready to take me along with you. Should only be a few years. <laughs> if you want to talk, make it quick. I think I'm late for Noelle's science lesson. I don't know if I'll ever get used to being around all these people. Everyone hurrying around, talking, eating, drinking, doing a million things. It's so weird, but kind of exciting at the same time, you know? Going from a planet with a population of three to this one is going to take a lot of patience and trust, that's for sure. Well, there's no other people my age here at the Lodge, so it's going to be kind of tough. Actually, Noelle is pretty nice. She said she'd teach me some stuff about science. You know, pick up where my mom left off. Besides that, I don't really care if I make friends or not. You and Sarah are the only friends I'll ever really need. Come back soon. I like talking to my friends.
orbit achieved. We can stay here forever. Well, for a while anyway. I do not believe we will encounter alien creatures in this region.
damage received. It's not unwise to remain hostile towards us. I advise a hasty retreat. It will save your life. Flawless health compromised. of enemy has dropped unexpectedly. Begin search Keep protocol. There is no enemy nearby. Resume systematic wandering. Let's end this!
This is Delgado. You have all been spreading far and wide across the settled systems, just like we talked about. Do not stop. Free Star Collective, United Colonies, they think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the free people of the Crimson Fleet. It always has. We are just reclaiming what is rightfully ours. And we will use their own selfishness and arrogance against them. Those of you old enough to grow hair remember the colony war. Remember those morons fighting and dying over nothing. They built facilities all over. Facilities that are still there, intact and abandoned. Just waiting for someone to come in and set up shop. That someone is the Crimson Fleet. So go! Make yourselves at home and bring the fight right to their goddamn doorsteps!
into position. And we are now in stable orbit. Retro's firing. Please remember that it is unwise to eat any alien flora unless you are certain of its identity. Human understanding of physics has, until now, shown no indication that such a thing is possible. And yet, we have now encountered two individuals physiologically identical. require my assistance. Yes, Captain.